Yo, Season 4 in NBA 2K22, my team is about to give us so much new content. We're gonna be getting free Galaxy Opals, new rewards, new players, new packs, new login codes, new token players, and basically everything new that we end up getting in a new season. Now, before we do get started with this video right here, guys, we're going to be doing a nice little giveaway. Right now, I want you to comment down below in the comments your predictions for the new season. Let me know who you think we're gonna be getting for limited, unlimited, a reward level 40, stuff like that. I'll have a nice little template on the screen. You guys can just copy it, fill it in, and then that way you can enter the giveaway. Also, make sure that you leave a like on the video and you subscribe to the channel with notifications on to join that giveaway and whoever ends up guessing the most correctly will walk away with a free gift card free vc or free mt depending what you want to win and like i said today we're going to be talking about season four in nba 2k22 my team and for those that don't know the new season is going to be coming on friday it's going to be january 14 at 8 a.m pacific time 11 a.m eastern time and then 10 a.m central time basically the same time we get content every single friday it's going to be the new season january 14 now really quickly guys i do want to remind you that last year for 2k 2k ended up adding for season 4 a galaxy opal to every single reward we were getting free galaxy opals you know from every single game mode whether it was limited the ascension board unlimited everything like that that was the season that 2k basically made every single reward a galaxy opal and so every single reward is going to be a galaxy opal and i do also want to emphasize that in this video right here we're going to be talking about my predictions and what i want to see nothing here is confirmed when it comes to the rewards and the players these right here are just going to be my predictions and the players that i want to see 2k add for the new season and so if you're ready i'm ready without further ado let's get right into it and so we're gonna get right into my predictions now obviously we gotta talk about level 40 now when it comes to level 40 i feel like 2k definitely needs to give us a big name player someone that everybody would want to go after and i have a couple players in mind one of them is going to be my boy anthony davis out here you already know paulino came through with a beautiful card arts for anthony davis and tell me you wouldn't want to get to level 40 for a galaxy opal anthony davis like i want to see anthony davis get a card he's long overdue for a new one another player that i feel like 2k could definitely add could be Tracy McGrady out here T-Mac or Anthony Davis I feel like would be a big enough name to where a lot of people would want to play the new season they'd want to buy 2k they want to load it up and everything now when it comes to these players right here obviously they're big names 2k lately like they gave us some big names sometimes but I want to see a big name that is also good in my team and so Anthony Davis and obviously Tracy McGrady are those players right there so I wouldn't be surprised if we do end up seeing a big and good player you know added for level 40 now there's also something to keep in mind as well if you guys do remember we had a starter pack in 2k21 and in this starter pack we had Allen Iverson we had Dwayne Wade we had Carmelo Anthony Kevin Garnett and Shaq and so far in this year for 2k22 we've seen Allen Iverson as the level 40 reward Kevin Garnett and Carmelo Anthony so there definitely is a chance that we could see a Shaq and also a Dwayne Wade as the level 40 reward just because you know it's a nice little pattern but again when it comes to 2k you never really know these are just my predictions i'm just giving you guys what i have noticed and what people have noticed as well so it could be literally anybody once again let me know down below in the comments who you guys want to see so when it comes to level 40 reward i just want somebody that's good i feel like 2k definitely owes us a really good level 40 reward because this year for level 40 it really hasn't been as amazing as it could be so tracy mcgrady anthony davis they could definitely fix it and then maybe they go Dwayne wade and shaq and so like there's my predictions for level 40 now we gotta talk about the packs we gotta talk about who we could be seeing when it comes to the packs because you know 2k they're always dropping new packs every single friday every single time that a new season does come out and when it comes to a player that i want to see in packs that's going to be of course the goats himself michael jordan out here bro mj is definitely long overdue for a new card i'm actually surprised that he hasn't gotten a galaxy opal so i wouldn't be surprised if we do end up seeing a galaxy opal michael jordan in the packs right here whether it's going to be a limited card maybe it could be a flash card maybe it could be its own promo and stuff like that we do want to see the goats get a galaxy opal because there's other players that have galaxy opals right now in the game and michael jordan is definitely way better than them and so he's definitely long overdue for a galaxy opal another player that i feel like is long overdue is going to be will chamberlain out here mr 100 points mr i slept with so many women out here that you couldn't even keep track of them so will chamberlain i feel like could definitely get a new card too that would be amazing will chamberlain and michael jordan in the same packs that would be something crazy and so those are some players that i would like to see 2k add when it comes to packs we're going to be getting more players as well on top of that but those are like the big name ones that i do want to see 2k add and now let's talk about some rewards like i mentioned earlier last year they ended up adding a galaxy opal to every single game mode and you remember this year 2k ended up adding a new game mode in 2k22 and that of course is clutch time they are going to be bringing it back it's going to be here for the rest of the year and when it comes to clutch time we want to see an amazing reward and i have one player in mind and that of course is going to be kyrie irving out here tell me that that doesn't make sense 
clutch time. Kyrie Irving, you know what he did in the finals in Game 7 against Golden State. And tell me people wouldn't want to play clutch time for a Galaxy of Kyrie Irving. This beautiful card right here would be an amazing reward to go after. When it comes to like some other clutch players, maybe like a Robert Ori could be like another player. There's definitely been a lot of clutch players out there. We saw Damian Lillard for, you know, Season 3. So for Season 4, I would love to see Kyrie Irving out here. And it would make sense. You know, he's clutch. He's amazing. And Kyrie Irving out here, I feel like a lot of people would definitely want to go after him. So that's my prediction for clutch time when it comes to like the main guy. When it comes to the wheel, you know, they could be another clutch player. Could be Robert Ory. Could be somebody else. But the main guy I want to see is Kyrie Irving out here. And now we got to talk about limited. Now, when it comes to limited, 2K recently has been giving us some pretty good rewards. And they definitely have been doing a better job now with like the moments of the month and stuff like that. But we also ended up starting off with, you know, Devin Booker. We had John Morant. And I want to see a big name player for limited. And now that player is going to be Towns out here. When it comes to Towns, you know he's been doing his thing in the NBA. He's definitely gotten better. And when it comes to Towns, he hasn't really seen anything new. And 2K hasn't really given him like a new card. So I feel like this would be a great opportunity to give him a reward player that a lot of people would want to go after as well. Play limited, get every single ring. And this would also be a reason for people to want to go after every single ring every single week. Because I feel like Towns would also be an amazing card. That could be a reward. I'm definitely going after some big names out here because I feel like 2K definitely owes us some really good players and also big names in also, you know, the rewards and the game modes that we're going to be getting. So Towns right here, I feel like also ends up fitting that criteria. So I wouldn't mind seeing Towns be a nice little reward card for limited. You end up getting every single limited ring every single week. And that's my prediction for limited. And speaking of another game mode, we're going to be talking about unlimited. When it comes to unlimited, 2K needs to add a player that every single person would be like, hey, I got a lot of unlimited today. I got to go win some games. I got to go, you know, win every single game to get to the Galaxy Oval tier and then finish that and then keep it playing obviously and that player i feel like could definitely bring a lot of people into the game mode would be the one and only mr alonzo ball out here bro tell me people would not want to go after a alonzo ball unlimited again i'm going with the big names at the moment because i need 2k to give us some nice little rewards that people actually want to play these game modes because a lot of people don't be playing unlimited they don't be doing this or that and i feel like lonzo ball right here would definitely bring a lot of people into the game mode because at the moment no one really plays unlimited unlimited is probably like the least played game mode that we have in 2k and lonzo ball would definitely make every single person out there be like hey I gotta go out there. I gotta win some games. I gotta cheese. I gotta go after Alonzo Ball and Galaxy of Alonzo Ball right here. Also, my boy Zo, long overdue for a card just like Towns. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do end up seeing a form of, uh, you know, Alonzo card, basically. And I feel like Unlimited would definitely be the best place to add him into. And next up, let's talk about the draft mode. Recently, 2K hasn't really been giving us a really good reward for the draft mode. And I feel like a lot of people haven't really been playing the game mode itself. And so, 2K, you gotta give us a good reward. I'm gonna go ahead and name somebody that's not too crazy, but also realistic. When it comes to this player, it's going to be Chris Webber out here. I feel like a Galaxy of Chris Webber would definitely make sense for the draft mode. Just because there's nothing too overpowered. So 2K can't be like, oh my goodness, you know, people are going to have an overpowered card from the draft mode because it's basically a free card if you end up getting every single pick and you get lucky enough. And so, you know, maybe we could see a Chris Webber. I feel like he would be a nice little balance of being a player that people would want to go after. And also, it wouldn't be too cheesy, overpowered, or broken that people would be able to get, you know, right away because with the season rewards, you know, some rewards are going to be available right away, like the draft mode, the ascension mode, etc. And then some game modes, like limited, they're going to take a while. They'll be way later. And so I feel like Chris Webber would definitely be uh, worthy of a Galaxy Opal, in my opinion. And I just feel like we should get a really good reward for the draft mode. Somebody that makes sense, again, is Chris Webber. So we'll see what happens. That's my prediction for the draft mode. And I was talking about the Ascension. Now, when it comes to the Ascension board right here, as you know, if you get lucky enough, you end up getting a free player. It's going to be a Galaxy Opal since every single reward is going to be a Galaxy Opal. So when it comes to a player right here that I have in mind, maybe it could be Larry Johnson out here. Bro, Larry Johnson always ends up getting a card randomly in like a random game mode or like a different way of getting it. And so I feel like, you know, Larry Johnson right here would definitely make sense from the Ascension board. You got to get some XP. You got to unlock it. You end up getting picks. And then you end up getting a free Galaxy Opal right here from the Ascension board. And Larry Johnson also would be one of those cards that 2K could definitely make cheesy. But they can also make it where he's just like, you know, a regular card. And it would just be another card that people could get for their collection. Maybe they could use it as stuff like that. When it comes to the Ascension board again, they never really do a big player name. Not anything too crazy. So I feel like Larry Johnson would definitely fit that criteria of just not being too crazy, but just perfect for the Ascension board. And so I would like to see him be the reward for this one right here. If we get lucky enough nice and early, we can get him in the beginning of Season 4. And you already know my boy Paulino came through with a beautiful card as well for Larry Johnson. And so we'll see what happens with that too. Now 
we got to talk about something that I'm actually super excited for when it comes to Season 4. And that, of course, is going to be the token reward market. Last time, we ended up getting three Galaxy Opals added into the token market. You know, when it comes to the reward market, they ended up unlocking the Galaxy Opal tier. And so I do want to see some players. I don't know if we'll get three, we'll get one, we'll get two. Maybe we'll get more, maybe we'll get something else. But we're definitely going to be seeing the Galaxy Opal tier finally open in the reward market. When it comes to those players, it could literally be anybody. But I got three in mind. Three players that I would love to see get added into the reward market. One of them is going to be Paul Pierce out here. I feel like Paul Pierce would definitely make sense for the token market. He'd be a player that people could definitely get if they got the tokens. And he would be a nice little card that people could finally use their tokens that they have been saving. Because I have a feeling right now you probably got a bunch of tokens saved up. And so Paul Pierce could definitely be one of those players. Another player that I would like to see would be Zach Levine out here, bro. Zach Levine has been previously in the token reward market. So maybe we could see him return there. Maybe for the season. Maybe as a different, you know, reward. Maybe as a different way of getting him. But I do want to see a Galaxy Opal Zach Levine get added with the new season for Season 4. And now another player that I would like to see when it comes to the token play would have to be the logo himself Jerry West out here Jerry West would definitely make sense for the token market he would also make sense for you know clutch time so I wouldn't be surprised if he does end up getting a galaxy opal tier on top of everything else that we've already been seeing this year in my team and also what we could potentially be seeing as the seasons go on and everything like that so Jerry West Paul Pierce and also Zach Levine I feel like would be some pretty good token reward players that people could finally use their tokens on and so let me know down in the comments as well what players you guys want to see and as you guys know 2k always ends up giving us new logic codes with the new season and then throughout the season we get more logic codes but i want to start seeing some more guaranteed player logic codes i want to put in a logic code and get a guaranteed player whether it's a moment maybe an agenda player maybe a challenge player i want to start seeing more player logic codes out here for season four and for the future of my team i feel like a lot of people would also want to get a guaranteed player just type in a logic code you end up getting it could be anybody it could be a moments player somebody goes off you know maybe an amethyst a diamond a ping diamond a galaxy opal would be amazing i'm sure eventually we'll see some more, you know, logic codes with players like Pink Diamonds, Galaxy Opals, and so on. And so I feel like we should definitely see a lot of player logic codes this season. So hopefully we do end up seeing that. Now when it comes to some other stuff that I do want to see, as you guys know, 2K ended up adding the moments of the month too. And I wouldn't be surprised if they continue that. I'm hoping it's every month or maybe, you know, a lot more often than that. Because they definitely did a great job with the Rose and with all the players we ended up getting. And I was actually surprised that 2K actually ended up giving us stuff like that. So I would like to see logic codes and moments of the month also get even bigger and better. And then that way everybody ends up getting some free content, some free players, free Galaxy Opals, free logic codes, and basically a bunch of free stuff in my team. And also with every season, we end up getting new updates to Triple Dirt Online, Triple Dirt Offline, The Exchange, and some other stuff out here. Now when it comes to those right there, it could literally be anybody. 2K always ends up just finding a random white guy that they end up making, you know, goats out there with the best animations, the best badges, the best stats. And so it could literally be anybody. I don't got any guesses for Triple Dirt Online or Triple Dirt Offline because it could literally be any player out there. Same with The Exchange. Also something that some people might be wondering is, are we going to be getting a new domination? 2K hasn't said anything about a new domination, so I'm not exactly sure if we'll see one. I'm, I'm guessing we probably won't. We could see like some spotlights where 2K does end up adding those, so those could be like some more ways of getting free players. They could implement that with moments of the month as well, with spotlights and so on. And so when it comes to those, we just have, you know, yet to see exactly what 2K does have planned. And once we know everything, I'll let you guys know. But for now though, this right here, guys, is going to be my prediction video with every single reward player that I want to see when it comes to the big game modes, like clutch time, unlimited, limited, some ideas that I have for logger codes, etc. and stuff like that. Once again, comment down below right now your predictions, and also let me know some players you guys want to see 2K add when it comes to you know season four and future seasons and future content that we'll be getting and so this right here, guys is going to be this video if you enjoyed it and you're ready for season four then do me one big favor leave a like subscribe comment down below right now to join that giveaway and if you enjoyed this one check out the three other videos that i uploaded i ended up doing a pack opening with the season sword packs check it out it was crazy also check out my no money span squad and then check out this free galaxy opal that you need to get right now in my team and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video Flexing it for real. Racks and racks and racks, I look like rookie of the year.